Morning well, folks, Steve here. Welcome to another beautiful Monday morning and uh, another another house, another property to look at. So we're in uh, the beautiful Nine Eye today uh, with a property that I have some history with. Um, so it's a, quite a nice little outlook. Um, I've actually just settled a property there, but the house is um, less than nice. Um, beautiful Spanish white. Anybody remember the Spanish white years? This is the lounge, obviously kitchen. There's a massive double garage out there. Um, I, I have a huge history with this house. So I'm going to explain it. You're going to laugh. Honestly, you're not going to lol. You're actually going to laugh, laugh. Bathroom. Everything's just a bit shit. Slightly different colour on the doors and the walls. A couple of double bedrooms. And then the master's out here. This is the master suite. With all of the buckets because the roof leaks like a sieve. Like this. There's a walk-in wardrobe there. There's a little ensuite over here. Um, and this has um, got a code of acceptance, apparently, because, yeah, anyway, somebody's bodged some renos there and made a fairly dastardly attempt at trying to make the thing nice. And, uh, yeah, so kind of dark in the back of the house, kind of nice and light and large on the front of the house, and then it's got a downstairs. Now, my idea was this downstairs could be a second unit. I right, put a door on it, it's got a separate entrance. You could have a four bedroom up, a little studio down. Do you guys remember these, these ugly handles and the squiggles <laughs> from back in the day? Yeah, I'll tell you why you're gonna remember that in a minute. Some holes in the walls. Big space down here though, like really big space and separate entrance. So you can make that into a separate tenancy. So there we go. Yeah, so bed there. So, so my history with this property. Um, I bought this property in 2008 and I thought it was a, a pretty good sort of a trade property at that stage. So what I did is I put a small margin on it, pointed out exactly the renovation that needed to be done to the property and on sold it to another property investor and trader. Uh, and that was in 2008 and I made $40,000 passing that property on to somebody else because I bought it really cheaply. It was way, way below value, pointed out what could be done with it. That person never did that stuff. They just put a tenant in it and parked it and then it came back up on the market for sale again in 2012. So I bought it again. 12. So I bought it again. And then I did this renovation. So I am literally the guy that put these ugly squiggly handles on. Like I literally painted these cupboards myself. This was back in the day when I actually did work. Um, I was the one that put the old Spanish white on, painted the ceilings. And, and made this into a little flat downstairs and then made it into a three bedroom property upstairs. And then I sold it and I made another $40,000 on this property, $40,000 twice. This property is now on the market again. And so I'm coming through and I'm interested and I'll probably put an offer on it. And I wanna see if I can't own this property for the third time and make another $40,000. Who, who, who can dispute that property is the gift that just keeps on giving. I mean, this house is in a fairly very average condition again. It needs more work done to it again. It needs to be spruced up and made into a, a livable property again. And I'm the man to do it. Um, so this is my day today. Um, bang a thought, bang a comment, tell me what you think.